Let's go! Today I will be talking about something a bit different than usual and that is non-fungible tokens also known as NFTs. I know some of you are thinking something along the lines of NFTs are just those weird collectibles that nobody really cares about. Well, let me share some statistics with you. In the last week, the Hash Masks NFT collection has sold more than $10 million in NFTs and some of those are already reselling for multiples more than they were originally bought for. So last week, a single NFT of a picture of a pixel art alien sold for $761,000 just within the last month. So maybe this doesn't sound interesting to you. Maybe you are not interested in NFTs at all. Well, if I put it this way, then there's a lot of opportunity potentially to make insane amounts of money in the NFT space. So let's continue. There have been several other NFTs that have sold for over $100,000 also, and even more selling for tens of thousands of dollars. And the craziest part is that a lot of the time, these NFTs, they were originally bought for tiny fractions of the price in which they were then later sold for. There is definitely a lot of big money flowing into the NFT space, and many people believe that we are only at the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the potential of these non-fungible tokens. So remember last summer, you had that whole DeFi hype, and then during the latter part of that, you had the NFT hype. There was so much money that was made buying NFTs and then selling them at a higher price and also buying into the NFT projects. Right now, that has kind of died out, it seems like a bit, but perhaps that is going to have a massive resurgence. So in this video, I will be covering what exactly NFTs are, how they work, where to buy, sell and store them, and why so many people are bullish on their future. There's a lot of money to be made with NFTs, I cannot stress that enough, and there are even fewer people taking advantage of the opportunities available than in other parts of crypto such as DeFi, so let's get right into it. The name non-fungible token pretty much describes exactly what NFTs are. If something is fungible, then it can be interchanged with other individual goods or assets of the same type. An example of something fungible is gold. Nobody can tell the difference between one gold bar and the other. They can be swapped for one another. NFTs are the opposite. They are each unique and indivisible. No two NFTs are exactly alike. And therefore, NFTs cannot be interchanged. And these characteristics, they mean that NFTs can be used for a wide variety of purposes such as original artwork, collectibles, proven ownership of digital or physical goods, proven authenticity of items, digital identity systems, and much, much more. The more popular form of creating NFTs is the ERC721 token standard on Ethereum. Other smart contract enabled blockchains such as NEO, EOS and Tron also have NFT token standards but Ethereum is by far the most popular. Similar to how ERC20 tokens are created through smart contracts, NFTs are also created through smart contracts. However, NFT smart contracts contain unique identifiers for each NFT as well as the ability to include detailed attributes such as the identity of the owner, rich metadata and secure file links. This ability to include the detailed information combined with the uniqueness of each NFT is what gives the tokens the ability to be utilized for such a wide array of purposes. Alright, so now that you have a bit of a background on how NFTs actually work, we can get into how people are making massive gains buying and reselling them. A good example of a successful NFT project is Hash Masks. This project actually launched just this week and as mentioned at the beginning of this video, they already made a lot of money. The sale actually just ended as the final three NFTs in the collection of 16,384 works of art sold for 100 Ethereum each. The digital art collection was created by 70 artists located all over the world and then curated and minted as NFTs by Zoom Kuki Labs in Switzerland. While the 100 Ethereum price of the final three NFTs is out of most people's price ranges, as you can see here, they were not all that expensive. So the first 3000 pieces of art sold for only 0.1 Ethereum each, which is still quite a bit of money, but this gave early adopters the opportunity to get in at much lower prices. The interesting aspect of this sale is that when you purchase an NFT, you did not know what it would look like. 
The features of the NFTs were revealed after they were sold. This is part of what gives projects such as this one the potential to return massive gains on the initial investment. So as you can see here, the NFTs all have unique characteristics with some being much rarer than others. This is a common occurrence in a lot of NFT projects. What this means is that someone who spent 0.1 Ethereum had the same chance as the person who spent 100 Ethereum to receive a rare piece of art. And this is exactly what happened to several people already. If we look at OpenSea, which uh, is a marketplace to buy and sell NFTs, we can see that some of these hash masks are already selling for 97 Ethereum, 88 Ethereum, 70 Ethereum, and the list goes on. By looking at the index number of each NFT, we can see how much the original owner paid for it. For example, these three are all within the first 300 sold, so they were originally purchased for 0.1 Ethereum each. As you can see, this one sold for 99 Ethereum. So let's do the math. That's a 990x without needing to time an entry or exit, watch charts, or worry about price dumps or anything else. They just bought the art and then sold it a day or two later. This one sold for 51 Ethereum. That's a 510x. These are two of the more expensive ones sold so far, but there already been a lot of selling for 5 to 10 Ethereum. For people who bought in the first round, that's still a 50 or a 100x. So I would definitely take that any day. So of course, the question you're asking yourself right now, the answer is no. Not all projects will be as successful as hash masks has been. And that's a very hard word to pronounce. But it is not too difficult to identify the projects that will be by looking at the amount of hype around them. Everyone has been talking about hash masks over the past few days, and that hype is a big part of what is driving up those prices. So while NFTs can provide extremely profitable opportunities, they are just a single use for the tokens. Now I am going to cover a couple of other uses in a bit of less detail. One rapidly growing sector using NFTs is the gaming sector. If you think about it, NFTs are really the perfect solution for in-game items. Pretty much every game these days has some form of collectible or other rare in-game items associated with it. Those can be character skins, weapons, treasure, or a myriad of other things. There has been a thriving market centered on the purchase and sale of in-game items pretty much as long as online games have been around, and tokenizing those items adds a much needed aspect of trust to those markets. Instead of trading or selling those items on forums or using some third-party service that takes a big cut of the proceeds, gamers can now just list their items on sites such as OpenSeas or other NFT marketplaces and have complete peace of mind while selling their items. Another benefit is that due to the unique data associated with each NFT, it is very simple for gamers to prove they actually own certain in-game items. This is even opening up the possibility of having items that can be used in multiple games because all it takes is connecting a crypto wallet to prove the item is yours. Very cool. Another use for NFTs that actually makes sense is of course for digital trading cards. With that unique data, there is no need to worry about the counterfeiting that is prevalent in physical trading card markets. This is not just a theoretical use either. The National Bo Basketball Association has its own NFT trading card collection called Top Shot. These cards are already taken off in popularity and they are being developed by the team that was behind the CryptoKitties craze of 2017. During the closed beta testing stage, users purchased 43,000 card packs, creating a revenue stream of $2 billion, sorry, million dollars. Keep in mind that even fewer people are using NFTs than they are using crypto in general. I have talked about how early we are as crypto adopters in other videos, so anybody using NFTs right now is even earlier. So even within crypto, people are just starting to realize how huge their potential is. Some other theoretical uses for NFTs that have not been widely implemented yet, but they actually have the potential to be much bigger than anything NFTs are currently being used for. One of these uses is the ability for NFTs to be used to certify ownership of physical assets. That could be something as simple as proving ownership of a physical piece of art, but it could also be expanded to include the tokenization of everyday assets such as cars, property, 
and pretty much anything else. Just imagine this, you want to buy a property, instead of going through the hassle like you have to do today, you just buy the physical, or not the physical, the digital NFT of the physical property, and it's done. Obviously, this is a long way from actually being implemented, but it's just an example to show how life-changing NFT technology could actually be. So I hope this video has opened your eyes to the potential of NFTs, as they are commonly overlooked by a lot of people even within crypto. They present extremely lucrative investment opportunities simply through the purchase and resale of individuals NFTs, but savvy investors can also profit by investing in the tokens of up and coming NFT projects. So I did not go over any of these projects in this video, but if there's interest, I can cover some of those most exciting projects right now. Let me know down in the comment section and uh, watch the sushi video, the sushi versus Uniswap video popping up in the middle of this video right now. I will see you right there.